What do you think was my biggest struggle when I made these three videos? Now, you may think, oh, maybe it was the ideation. Maybe you just couldn't be creative. Or perhaps I struggled to keep up with the standard of the channel. Those were part of the struggle, but the main thing which I struggled with was actually just focusing on making the videos. What ruined my productivity was just my monkey brain. I couldn't focus on the task at hand. Whether it was, oh yeah, let me go on YouTube just to get some inspiration and then I end up watching a 15 minute video or oh maybe I got a message on x let me just check and reply to it and then I end up scrolling for 25 minutes we've all fell a victim to this and this is something which I've only just recently actually begun to understand and to fix and in this video I'm just going to share with you everything which I've learned on this topic and how to actually fix your productivity issues so to tackle our issues with productivity we're going to be using this analogy of the monkey brain now yes it's a bit silly but it describes pretty much perfectly the issues that we're having so my first question to you is how do you feel right now watching this video as we speak maybe you think oh this guy's really interesting I want to watch this whole video and I even want to subscribe or perhaps you think oh this guy's boring i want to click off maybe even want to dislike the video whatever you are thinking about this you you have thoughts in your brain what's going through your mind are you bored are you excited are you engaged are you interested take a minute just to observe how you feel because it might be very rare that you actually think about what you're thinking about thinking about how you feel now you might be feeling a bit discouraged that we tend to just lose our focus and that's okay i'm going to show you how we can work through this so that we can actually improve our productivity because most of the time you think oh it's that plugin that i don't have and that's why i'm not productive or you might just think oh i'm not one of those guys who can focus well i'm just born with terrible genetics and that's it and the thing is the monkey brain can take you very far you see i've edited all of these these videos which I mentioned here with a monkey brain I'll, I'll be honest my focus for these videos were terrible but still I managed to finish editing the videos and lots of them have millions of views so imagine how much potential we have if we actually harness our brain we actually managed to gather all of our attention and instead of putting it in YouTube videos and stuff like that focus it back into the edit we're making not only time would be saved but we'd actually make a better edit these two platforms in my opinion are one of the most dangerous platforms for video editors now I don't mean to say that like never touch them again what i mean is they're easy to just stumble onto when you're editing a video so for example on the first video which i edited for internet anarchist i had x up in my second monitor just there can you imagine how much that would have ruined my productivity it's almost like being on a diet and putting a cake next to you just just because you know just because you like looking at the cake and if you want a bit of the cake you can have some you can imagine that's going to destroy your attempt at a diet same with this i had x up on a different monitor of course i looked at it every two minutes of course i scrolled on it every five now you may not have been such a monkey brain as i was but you may have small habits which are are destroying your productivity such as just every hour going on x just doing a little scroll and going back to work the thing is your brain leaves a small amount of attention there you may think oh i've closed the tab now it's all over but your brain keeps a little bit of that some of your awareness and your attention is now left in twitter same with youtube i've found that sometimes in an edit i just need some inspiration so i go on youtube and i watch a little bit of a video i think oh yeah i'll just watch a minute just a minute, that'll be enough to get some inspo. Minute mark comes and I'm like, oh, this video is kind of interesting, it's kind of hooked me. Let me just watch one more minute. And you know, this one more minute is really productive because it's going to help me come up with ideas. So it's funny that 15 minutes later, after I finished the whole video, I come back to the edit and I again have no more ideas. These distractions which we have plague our productivity. And it's okay, because now we're aware of it, we can now work towards becoming less distracted. So can we tame the monkey brain? Can we actually put a leash on this monkey brain and lead it to where we want? Let's just say we're a monkey. It sounds like a funny analogy, but let's just pretend we are now a million years ago and we're devolved and we just want to get a banana. So the monkey's searching for a banana. He's like, oh, I see a tree. Perhaps there's a banana up there. But then he sees at the bottom some little animal laying at the bottom of the tree. And he thinks, oh, oh wow, that animal looks really cute. Let me just, let me go check out the, the animal. He spends five minutes observing the animal 
animal. Here's the monkey. He's observing the animal. He's like, wow, look at this. I've never seen this animal before. I'm here for five minutes. And then he goes, hold on. Wasn't the whole point to get a banana? So he now looks back up at the tree. But now he sees a snake. So now he's got to find another tree. So he walks to the next tree and he goes, oh, there's bananas up there. Look. So he walks over, but in the distance, he spots a female monkey and he's like, oh, oh, I can get a wife. So he runs over and he, he goes try a spit game. It doesn't work. And then he's like, oh, I just spent 20 minutes here. Wasn't I meant to get a banana? So he comes back to the tree and this cycle just repeats. He becomes distracted. He realizes, oh, I meant to get the banana. And then he gets distracted again and again and again. This is just the nature of the monkey brain. Now, our goal is to minimize the amount of time we spend in the distractions. So the point is not to have no distractions. The point is to reduce the amount of time we spend distracted. So how does this look? Let's just say we subconsciously just end up on this platform X, right? And we're writing messages um, and we're just reading posts and we go, oh, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm distracted. And we do that within five minutes of becoming distracted. Well, now we've been distracted for five minutes. So what if we could bring this time down to one minute? We've now saved four minutes and that might not sound like a lot, but if you put this in a percentage, we've saved 80% of our time. So I'm going to show you the framework in how we're going to realize that we're distracted and come back into our work. Bring the monkey brain back to finding the banana. And we do this in the taming framework. Here's the monkey. He wants bananas. This is his goal. His aim is to just get bananas. And on his quest to get bananas, he then becomes very heavily distracted in, let's say, a female monkey. Now the monkey's thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna spit some game, yeah. Oh, and get me a wife here. And he forgets that his entire goal was just to get bananas. And this is where we notice our distraction. This is the monkey who is wise. He's noticed that he's become distracted. Oh, I've become distracted. Wow, I noticed that I became distracted. That's a big win. And then he goes back to the monkey who is aiming to get his bananas. And this is going to happen dozens of times within one minute. So let me talk you through how we actually use this framework, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like and everything in between. So when we sit down to work, we may not just be distracted by platforms or websites and the internet. We might just be distracted by our own brain. We may have a thought, oh, what am I going to eat for dinner? Hmm, maybe I could have mac and cheese. Maybe I could have some chicken. Oh, oh wait, I, I didn't go to the gym. Oh, when am I going to go to the gym? And I need to go out to meet this person. And oh, my days tomorrow, I've got so much to do. And oh no, now you're distracted. You've lost the entire goal of working. And that's okay. What we're learning today is how to realize when we become distracted, because this is going to happen to you a lot of times in a minute. Expect to become distracted. Expect to become lost in thought. That's okay. That's just the nature of the mind until we learn to work with it. At first, you may not even notice that you're distracted. And if you feel like you're that person, I really recommend this practice called meditation. Now, there are lots of connotations around this. Essentially, it's just the practice of noticing when you're distracted. This sit down practice will really mean that when you do sit down to work, and you become distracted, you will notice that you're distracted. Because this whole framework breaks down if you don't notice. This gets severed and you just stay distracted here. You stay as this monkey who's encapsulated by his distractions. We want to circumvent this severance by meditating. We then become aware of when we're distracted. So for example, let's say right now while I'm recording, I think of a friend who I need to text back and I get a little bit into the thought. I go, oh, what did they say? Oh, I don't remember what they said. Oh, oh, they said this. Oh, they, they want to meet at the gym. Okay, uh, what time is good for me? And then I go, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm meant to be working right now. And that moment allows me and gives me the opportunity to then refocus. But the biggest mistake that I think I have made in this is that I almost beat myself up. I go, oh, I thought, damn it. I, 
I've got distracted. Oh, I'm I'm terrible at working, and I'm I'm this and I'm that. And you just go off in a tangent. You even think more, and you become annoyed. You don't reward that activity of noticing you became distracted because when you go, oh, I noticed that I became distracted. What a great achievement! Well done, brain. Give yourself some flipping dopamine, bro. <laughs> this is this is exactly what is meant to happen. The nature of this thing in my head is to think and I noticed that I thought great that deserves some celebration and now you're going to become even more motivated to then remember or to notice that you're distracted and here's how we build some positive momentum so we're now moving from being stuck as this monkey for I don't know an hour of our work session we still become this monkey because it's just inevitable. But we become this monkey maybe 20 minutes of our work session. So we've now reduced our monkey brain from becoming distracted from an hour to 20 minutes, just because we notice. And when we notice, we don't continue to feed the thought. We go, okay, let me come back. So in more direct words, when we notice that we become distracted, we just want to give ourselves a minute because the nature of thoughts is that you're going to almost be rolling down a hill and it's hard to stop yourself falling. Instead of thinking, oh, I became distracted and going straight into work, we're just going to take a minute, we're just going to go, oh, okay, I became distracted. Let me just take a deep breath. Let the thought lose its momentum and then return to the work. And it's likely that 10 seconds later, it will happen again. But the point of this is not to immediately fix the point of this is to practice. So when you do become distracted 10, 20, 30 seconds later, be okay with it. Because the more that you practice this, one, the less frequency that you're going to become distracted. And two, when you do become distracted, it's going to be for a lot less time. We're going to end up becoming this monkey a lot more, who's aware that he's distracted, who plans on bringing himself back to the work, which is to find the bananas, or in our case, to edit the video, to plan the video, to record the video. And this is the cycle which we're all inevitable to fall into. It's likely we haven't even touched or come near to our max capacity of becoming this monkey. So become excited by the fact that we haven't even touched our potential. Like I said, I edited these videos on time and my productivity and my focus was terrible. I was this monkey. The fact that progress can be made is just such a big thing and we should become excited by that instead of beating ourselves up and going oh i did bad and thinking that's gonna bring us the right way it's a completely wrong mindset and it's something which i fell into instead reward the behaviors that you really want to keep reward remembering or noticing that you're distracted reward it so if this video did help you this is only the beginning of the focus course so if you do want to really hone in on your productivity and your workflow then sign up for the waitlist for docu editors and i'm making sure that this is going to bring a lot of value to you there's 170 people on the waitlist and if this video was any use to you i'd highly recommend you check out the link in the description as you'll get exclusive access to lower prices prices if you join the waitlist. I hope this video helped and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.